Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Molly. And to me, Daisy. Epic Cupcake, the amazing cheese eating hamster. Okay, Cupcake, this YouTube channel isn't all about you, you, you. Ah, uh, correction, it's all about the hamster. All about the hamster. Okay, that's enough out of you, Cupcake. Today, guys, we are playing Escape Mr. Nightmare School. And, um, he looks like some sort of creepy robot with very, very sharp teeth. Molly, don't wake him up. Don't worry, I'm an expert at getting out of detention. I don't, I don't know if we're in detention. I think we just, uh, just in this creepy school. And oh my gosh, he's right behind us. Where do you think you're going, Molly? Class isn't over yet. Oh uh, no, class is definitely over for me. Oh my gosh, Daisy, run. Ah, he got me. <laughs> Molly died in the first five seconds. Oh, yeah, seriously funny. Aren't you just hilarious, Daisy? Um, all right, so the first thing I did was take a right, which is the wrong way. And now he's behind me! Oh, my God. Oh, creepy. His face was coming around the corner like, wah, wah, wah! Molly, you are being so dramatic right now. Of course I'm being dramatic. There's this creepy Mr. Nightmare behind me. Mr. Nightmare, please don't get me. I'm just going straight. I don't know if that's the right way. No! Oh, man, I keep dying. These are already escaped, probably. You're such a noob, Molly, that's why. Um, maybe this way. Oh, gosh, he's right behind me. Stop it! Stop it! Ha, 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 Ah, you can't catch me. Nee, 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 nee. All right, I see somebody else going this way. So I think I was supposed to go straight, but maybe I was supposed to turn here or something. It's like a maze, okay? It's amazing you can even survive. Wait, there's Daisy! Molly, I was wondering when you were gonna show up, jeez. Oh, whoa, what is this? Uh, Molly, it's a vent, and you went the wrong way! Oh, whoops, <laughs> Mr. Nightmare's gonna catch me! What's this? Oh, there's bloody handprints everywhere. This looks interesting. What are we doing in here? Looks like some sort of factory under the school. What do you suppose they build here? I don't know, but I think we're about to find out. Maybe it's a cheese factory. It's not a cheese factory. Hamster for adoption. Anybody want a hamster? Molly, you wouldn't do. Uh, okay, reset props. Uh, apparently we have to do something. Yeah, we have to move these boxes and so we can stand up on them, I think. Oh, they're really heavy. This really makes me want a cupcake. Oh, cupcakes. How I love thee. Let me count the ways. One cupcake, two cupcakes, three cupcakes. Maddie, stop talking about cupcakes. Sorry, I was just trying to get us out of here and... When I think about cupcakes, it makes me feel better. I think I just gotta stab this one last box and then, uh, uh, we'll finally get out of here. Uh oh, it fell down. Come on, noob, we've gotta get out of here like in this millennium. Okay, cupcake, I don't see you really helping. That's because my legs are too short and my stomach is too chubby. Yeah, you can say that again. Okay, wait a minute, I think I know what I have to do. I need to push this over here, then go grab this one. And then jump up here, up here, then place the box. And then, watch this. I made myself a little set of stairs from boxes. Ha ha ha! Oh boy, Molly, that took forever. I'm sorry I'm not fast enough for everybody. I'm doing my best. Hey Molly, do you want to get some cheese or an ice cream or something after this with me? 
Cupcake, I would love to. If we ever escape Mr. Nightmare School. No promises, though. This looks very dangerous. Whee! Whoa, what is all that? It looks like it used to chop, chop, chop you up. But it's really rusted, so you probably won't get chopped up now. There's a power switch. I'm pretty sure we're going to need that. It's probably so that um we can climb up this thing right here. Daisy? Okay, we lost my sister already. This is really bad. I hope Mr. Nightmare didn't get her. Are we going to wait for her? Not a chance. I want to get out of here. Oh, man. I got to start over again. Molly, how could you? You just left me there. Sorry, uh, Cupcake mentioned getting an ice cream, and that was more important than waiting for you. Molly, you're so rude. Sorry. All right, I'll wait for you now. But only for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye, Daisy. Molly! <laughs> oh, man, I totally died. There's some toxic waste going on in this room. We might be in the sewers. Yeah, we might be. Molly, are you really going to wait for me? Probably not, since you called me a noob. <laughs> Look how my hamster climbs. <laughs> You're so chubby. I like being chubby. It means I eat a lot of snacks. I love snacks. It's still here. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still eating snacks. No, I think it means Mr. Nightmare. Daisy, yeah. um, be careful when you come up to this part. Yeah. Finally. Uh, now, what did you say about a fart? Fart? Don't mind if I do. Molly! I meant, I said be careful of this part. Um, okay. I'm running in the dark. I don't know which way to go. I'm running in the dark. Does anybody know how to escape Mr. Nightmare School? It's kind of creepy. It's not really cool. Oh, uh, guys, he's behind me. I can tell. There's a, there's a glowing light behind me. If I stop... To show you. Oh my gosh! What the? What is that? Oh, it's creepy and it's like right behind me. Mommy, Mommy, I don't want to get eaten! Ah, uh, Cupcake, you're kind of chubby! You're getting eaten! Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe it. I got eaten by that weird robot thing. It looks like a nightcrawler. Alright, let's try to survive that. I don't know. We're not, we might not be able to, Cupcake. Well, I better eat the last of this cheese then. I want to die happy. Yeah, I wish I had a cupcake. Then I'd die happy. Oh, that's a wall. <laughs> oh, man. He's like right behind me now. He definitely caught up to me. Oopsie. Yep. I'm dead. I'm dead. All right, let's try this again. Who's the new Molly? You are, you are. You're such a noob. Ugh, she has a point. I am acting like a noob right now. Again. Oh, whoops, I ran into a wall. <laughs> Does this girl know where she's going? Or what? Ah! No, stop eating me, please! <laughs> oh, that was just pathetic! Alright, um. Maybe this time. Oh, wait, I went the wrong way. Oh, we're doomed. She's never, ever gonna get it. Not ever. I'll get it eventually, okay? Oh, wait, is this, is this the dead end? No! This is the way we're supposed to go, duh! Who knew that my my cupcake hamster was so bossy? This is the way you went last time. Now we're gonna die. We're not gonna die. I'm just gonna go faster because here comes that creepy thing. There's gotta be a way out of here. I just don't know what it is. Why is it gaining on me so quickly? Oh my gosh! Ah! Alright guys, this is a little cheat sometimes I do in Roblox when there's a maze like this. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. Here we go. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. Okay, maybe it will. I can sort of see where the walls stop and start, so that's a little bit helpful. And I need to get ahead of that creepy Nightcrawler robot guy. Oh my gosh, I don't want to die. Not today, people. I don't know if I'm running in circles, but guys, he is right behind me. 
Look at him. He is right behind me. I'm like, guacamole. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Ah! Huh. How does he catch you so fast? This part is so hard. Molly, you're doomed forever. Oh, Dizzy's already out of here. Dizzy, you think you can come back and help me a little bit? I'm your sister. Oh, yeah. Remember when you left me hanging before? How's that feel? Uh, it feels pretty deadly right now, actually. Okay, this time I went to the right. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I did it. And it's so dark in here. I don't know where I'm going. The Nightcrawler is already after me, people. Maddie, this way! Oh my gosh, Daisy's gonna get eaten by the Nightcrawler. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Don't get me, please, please, please. I just wanna live. No! Ugh! Okay, Daisy did come back and rescue me. She's such a good person. I try, Molly, despite you testing my patience. All right. Um, so I, I now know that I'm supposed to go right. Daisy, you didn't meet me far enough back, though, because the Nightcrawler was already after me. Molly, is that Nightcrawler? It is a Nightcrawler. It looks like a Nightcrawler. It's Oh, look at there it is. I'm right here, Molly, right in front of you. I can barely see you, Daisy. Keep going, Molly. He's right behind you. Uh, no kidding, Daisy. Daisy! He, he, uh, he got me again. Oh, brother. We're going to be here a minute, people. Uh, why don't you play some footage of cupcakes or something entertaining? Because Molly is going to bore you with how long it's taking her to get this done right here. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not perfect. I'm trying, okay? It's very dark. I can't really see anything. Daisy, I, I went right and then left. And then left. You went the wrong way again, Goofy. Oh, no. I ran into a wall. Just go right, 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 right. Oh, my gosh. I'm never getting out of here. Cupcake, everything's going to be fine. Besides, you could just go on your own. I think I'd be better off. I have such a spitfire for a hamster seriously i don't know if you guys have hamsters like this but mine definitely is oh boy you have to go left here oh boy he's right after me now get away from me you ugly thing oh gosh oh brother molly is there a skip stage option you're never getting out of here daisy i've never been so happy to see you in my entire life Ay, 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 yeah, Molly, come on. I'm going to be 100 years old by the time we get out of here. Let's go. All right, lead the way, Daisy. Remember, there's a creepy nightcrawler in here. I know, Molly, I know. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Wait, I went this way, but it still got me. You must have went the wrong way, Molly. You're probably right. I probably did. OMG. You know there's arrows on the walls, right? What? No, there's not. I don't see a single arrow. Uh, you just have to know where to look, Molly. See arrows. Oh, my gosh. There were arrows on the wall this entire time? Yep. Oh, I just, I don't want that Nightcrawler to get me. Please. Please, Daisy, run as fast as you can. There you go, Molly. You're out. Oh, 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 thank goodness. Finally. Only to be matched by some... To be met by some, uh, like, bear traps or something. And you died again! Oh, jeepers creepers. Hopefully it saves, like... Oh, good, it saved right there. Daisy, what are you coming back for? To try to rescue me? That's a bad idea. Oh! <laughs> Did you guys see that? I tried to jump in the center. So that, well, if I jump in the center, maybe that's a safe spot. No, it just... Look, watch this, guys. Ah, oh, it took my head clean off! Oh, man, that's kind of funny, actually. I'm going to do that again. Molly! <laughs> it shot my head, like, straight off. My body is still up on the bear trap. Oh, boy. She really has gone crazy. Tell me about it, and I'm stuck with her. Cupcake, you're really not even supposed to talk. You're a hamster! Come on, Molly, we have to get out of here. Before the three o'clock bell... I mean, we can't even go get ice cream at that point. We just have to go home. Oh, uh, wait, what? What was that? It was a bunch of robot students that we can't wake up. Okay, um... Noted. Don't touch robot students! Whoa! It's very hard.
hard not to wake them up. They're very light sleepers. Okay, let's see if I can do this again. Miley, come this way. It's the easiest way to go. Um, okay. Oh, I'm kind of nervous right now. Kind of nervous. Yes, I did it! Come on, Molly! Whee! Ah! Ow, ow, ow! I hit my head. Ow. I hit my head, too. Now I've got a hamster concussion. Find the three buttons. Okay. One. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, something evil is trying to get me while I try to find the three buttons. Of course, Molly. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Ooh, cookie's my favorite. Uh, is that a button? No. You're probably all up on the bleachers is what I'm thinking. Two. Did you find them all, Daisy? I'm trying to, Molly. There's a lot of buttons here. Ooh, three! <laughs> the door opened. I'm out of here. Oh, thank goodness. Wait, is he still following me? I don't know. I just, I'm just going to run. I'm going to run as fast as I can because... I don't know if Mr. Nightmare is still following me or not, but it is creepy. Why did I fall all the way back down? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Can he climb up the wall? Yes! Oh! Huh. Huh. Wait, am I going the wrong way? I feel like this is the wrong way. What? 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 No, I think this is the right way. I don't know. Ah! One of them woke up. Okay. I'm so lost right now. This school is literally like... <laughs> He's stuck in there. It is literally like... Uh... Oh, wait. There he is at the bottom. <laughs> He's stuck. It's literally like a giant maze. Is this the slide I came down? No, no. Woke them up again! Molly, I'm going the wrong way! Oh my gosh, I was going the wrong way! Oopsie! Ay, ay, ay. Okay, Molly, this is gonna make you super fast. Whoa! <laughs> okay, this is way more fun than trying to get away from that nightcrawler guy again. Daisy, you died! Seriously, I beat you with this part? I don't feel like such a noob. No, that was just luck, Molly, so you died too. the biggest attitude of all the hamsters. Guys, if you have a hamster at home, or you wish you could have a pet hamster, slam that like button. Um, okay. So far, so good. We can do this cupcake, right? I don't know about you, but I'm an amazing, skilled hamster. I can do so many amazing things. Whoa, I think you're right. Whoa, uh-oh. <laughs> then we went through and died on the bridge. Uh-oh. We're going to be stuck in this school forever with this crazy Mr. Nightmare guy. Oh my gosh, these break as you're stepping on them, which means we have to hurry, Cupcake. We have to hurry! Wait a minute. Are we outside the school? Ah! No, we have to fight Mr. Nightmare. Um, okay. Well, here goes nothing, guys. Wait, where is... Okay, do I get the launcher or what? He's coming to say Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hi! Okay, now I have the launcher. And super speed, which is so fun. Die, Mr. Nightmare! Die! I think he only gets to touch you once and you're dead. Which, by the way, doesn't seem fair at all. Bye-bye! Ah! I can't move! What did I... Oh my gosh, seriously? Oh, it was like my computer froze up right there. That wasn't fair. Well, Marty, that's the way the Marty crumbles. That's the way the Molly crumbles. Oh, you're funny. He just stepped on me. That was the end of him. Okay, Mega Mr. Nightmare. I've had about enough of you. Come on, Cupcake. Let's do this. You're on your own. He's super creepy. He is super creepy. Um, Let's see where he is. Oh, do you see like a laser or something coming out of his head? Oh, I got him in. I got one shot in. Oh, and before he stomped me into oblivion. Oh, man, I just want to beat this game really bad. Don't worry, Molly. I have every faith that you're going to lose time and time again. Oh, thank you. My sister is so rude. 
gonna take Mr. Nightmare down. It's gonna be so much fun. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Nightmare. Um, all right. Uh, oh god, he's right behind me, guys. I gotta run for it. I have super jump too. Wee. Wait, what? He karate chopped me? That seems rude. All right, let's see. Does it stay in the same spot? Yes. Yeah, so you get lots of tries to kill him. And if you don't, it still stays where it was. Like, go away. Go away. Please don't kill me. Yeah, you did. All right. But every time I die, it's saving how much I killed him beforehand. So um, I can't win this. I'll probably die about a thousand times, though. Here we go. I am cupcake. I'm trying. Okay. He's ah, he's really big. Oh man, <laughs> there goes my head. I lost my head over this game. I sort of want to just keep running until he stops because when he sends out that laser thing, that's when I can get him the best. I think. Oh god, he's right behind me, guys. He's right behind me. We should have like a treehouse or something to stay in. Oh, he outsmarted me! He ran the other way! Okay. I've taken him down to, like, half his life, though, so... I only have to die about a thousand more times before I win. <laughs> You're going down, Mr. Nightmare! Mega Mr. Nightmare. Daisy, did you already win? Yes, of course, Smiley. It takes you forever to do this stuff. I know, I know. Apparently, I am, like... The slowest Roblox player ever at beating this guy. Oh man, he's down to like really low health. You're down to no health. You turned him into ghost like five minutes ago, Maddie. She's got a point there. Oh, he killed me right before he died. Not fair. All right, we, we come back to life. Okay, I'm, ah! Blah! <laughs> I ran like right into him. Oh, man, Mr. Mecha Nightmare Guy, you're going down. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I better make a run for it. There's the school bus. Come on, Molly, you can do this. Oh, thank goodness. That was crazy. Now let's go get an ice cream. Ah, someone ran me over with the bus. Oh, I'm stuck to the bottom of the bus. Ah, stop, stop rolling the bus. Ah. Uh, I think we caused the bus to crash. Um, oops. Oh my gosh. Guys, oh my gosh. All the kids just fell out of the school bus and the bus just went over a giant mountain. Oh, that just figures, Molly, because you played this game and you made the, the school bus crash and now everybody's just dead. Oopsie. Um... Uh, we could still go for an ice cream, though. Are you kidding me? Oh, we're stuck out here now. We don't even have a school bus to give us a ride home. Well, I'm gonna go see, like, where it fell to. Oh, my God. That is so crazy. Look, there's a giant one of me. Why is there a giant one of me? Because you won. You, you won the Abby. Wow, Molly, congratulations. You made the bus crash. <laughs> Look at Cupcake dancing around. That's so cute. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye! Oh, my gosh. Look at that granny. Yeah, she is, um, uh, uh. Say it, Molly. She, ew, she's got boogers coming out of her nose. Oh, my gosh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Ew, that is so gross. She also has a hairy chin. Ew, yeah, this is this this game is gross already. Um, she looks grumpy, but also Grandpa looks grumpy too. Should we click play? Yeah, well, it can't get any worse than Grandma's nose boogers. Yeah, that that's probably true, right? I mean, it can't get any grosser, can it? I hope not, Molly. I seriously hope not. Molly, look, it looks like we're having a sleepover at Grumpy Granny's house. Yeah, it sort of does, but, um, is there any way out of here? No, Molly, it looks like she might have trapped us in. 
Whoa, what was that? That looked like a police officer or something. We have to go down here, Molly, and... Whoa, it feels like an earthquake. Granny must have ate way too many cupcakes. I feel like that, too, after I get, like, super fat from eating too much. All right, um, Daisy, where are we going? Uh, not that way, Molly, but maybe... Okay, maybe that way. You don't know where you're going, do you? No, we have to find Grandma's cookies. See, the objective is over here. Oh, yeah, find Grandma's cookies. All right, no, no, no problem. Let me just sniff them out. Mmm, I love cookies. Let me, let my nose lead the way. It's got to be down here, right? That's where I sort of smell it. Yes! Maddie, you found the cookies. Great job. I love all the cookies in the cookie, but, oh, God! You stole my cookies! You did! Oh, my gosh. Um, would I like to buy a skateboard? Uh, no. Oh, boy, she's after me. Crazy granny, crazy granny, yeah. Find the attic key and get to the attic. Um, why is she still following me? Oh god, she's taking the lift up. Oh man. Uh, good luck. Good luck. Here she ah no! Oh, she's got hair coming out of her wart on her nose too. Gross. Oh my goodness, she's chasing me again. Are you serious right now? All right, maybe I have to go down that hall down the stairs. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I just gotta find the attic keys. <gasps> well, there's the attic, but, um, yikes, yikes, ah! <laughs> you ugly granny, you ugly. Maddie, don't make her any madder than she already is. Oh my gosh, I need to find an attic key. Daisy, why'd you abandon me? Oh wait, there's the attic key. Cause she's so slow, I wanna actually survive. Uh-oh, 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 no! Oh, come on. All right, um, I can do this. I'm pretty sure I can. Oh, gosh, here she comes again. Oh, but now this time I have the attic key. Okay, that's good news. This thing weighs about 20 pounds. This am supposed to run up the stairs with this thing. I'm at Granny's house, and she's kind of gone insane. There you are, Molly. Finally, you made it to the attic. Um, I don't know if this is such a great place to be. It's creepy up here. Yeah, and it sort of smells weird, too. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm good. No, 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 no. Not good. Not good at all. Better be careful. There's booby traps everywhere. I sort of noticed. Guys, if you don't know this already, Platinum Falls makes the best Roblox obbies. We always play them, right, Daisy? Yeah, he's a great um game developer. Yeah, we played all of his games pretty much. And this is his new one, so we're pretty excited to play it. So guys, um, if you haven't already, go ahead and um, play this game because it's super fun. Yes! And also slam the like button on our video too. Yeah, don't forget that. Oh wait, what do we have to do? Break the glass? No, Maddie, just open it, sheeples. You wanna break and smash everything? Well, this place isn't exactly nice. Come on, Maddie, up this way. What, what are these, barbed wire? Yeah, Molly, like at a prison. She's captured us. I noticed. Um, at least I got to eat one of her cookies. Hopefully it wasn't poisoned. Wait, we're outside, Daisy. This is a good news. Yeah, uh, no, Granny's still behind us, Molly. Holy guacamole. All right, Granny, you can't run very fast, though, because you're old and you're kind of chubby, so. Uh, Molly, why is there a grave there? I don't know. Why is she just chasing us around in circles? There's no objective here. I don't know what to do. But Molly, she got you! Ugh, she is so creepy. Alright, um, it's okay. It's okay, I can do this. Wait, I can't see anything. Daisy, don't leave me in the dark! Oh god, there's Granny. I'm at Granny's house and I'm kinda glad I... I'm kinda sad I came. I'm at Granny's house and she's totally insane. Crazy Granny, crazy Granny, crazy Granny, yeah. Okay, I don't know where to go. Seriously? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think you can go over these garbage cans or something. Oh, God. Please don't keep chasing me. Wait, she's still behind me. Oh, God. I don't know where to go. Daisy, I need help. Daisy! Daisy's abandoned me. Aww. Molly, jump into the grave! Oh, okay. Um, Where's the grave? I can't find the grave! Jump in it, Molly! Jump! Quick, quick! Oh, no, she got me. But I know where to go now. Okay. All right, where's that grave? Oh, wait, there's Granny. 
<laughs> Push Granny into the grave. Ah, I can't see anything. It was like I was inside her head. That was weird. Marty, thank goodness you made it. Um, yeah, but this guy, he didn't. Yeah, he, he totally died. Yeah, but uh, we survived so far. Oh, down into a dungeon or something. Come on, Molly. Maybe we can finally get out of Grumpy Granny's house. Uh, we're not in her house anymore. Now we're in a grave behind her house. Ah! Oh my god, there's spikes down there, Daisy. Um, yeah, not a good idea to fall down. Of course not, Molly. This is an Abbey Dud. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Whew, that was scary. This might be a great time to call on the power of the unicorn. Come on, guys, say it with me. Power of the unicorn with the sparkly horn. All right, um, what's this do? How do I get up here? Oh, it just goes on its own. Cool. Something tells me this isn't going to be good, Molly. Um, well, there's only one way to go. Up. Well, what's going on? I don't know yet. I was waiting for you. Let's go up these stairs. Maybe this is finally our escape. If I know Grumpy Granny, I doubt it. But I'm starting to get really hungry. I'm going to stop and dream about cupcakes. Cookies. Ah, ah, I just want to eat them all. Molly, there's no time for that. Come on. I'm eating them in my mind as we speak right now. Whoa, more skulls. Oh, no. Whoa. Uh oh! Molly, if you spent more time worrying about getting through this abbey and this time thinking about cupcakes, I'll never give up the cupcakes. Never! Wait, what's in here? Um, certain death by the looks of it, Molly. Uh, who is that psycho? It looks like a clown, one of Grandma's lackeys. Uh, yeah, that face was terrifying. Alright, um,. I'm just gonna stay here. I feel safe here. Molly, you know we can't. You know we have to keep going. Uh, there's no way out. This is just all a dead end. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! There's a lot of creepy zombie things down here. Yeah, definitely. They're definitely zombies. Alright, let me just peek in the door. <laughs> I totally am. I'm gonna, like, try to walk in without it getting dark in here and, like, see if I can see where everything is. Molly, is it that cheating? No, it's being smart. Okay, there's one around the corner. And, uh, okay, so I think I have to go straight. All right. Maybe left? All right, I'm gonna go left. Go on left. Oh, my gosh. It'll be a miracle if I get out of here. Ah! Yeah, totally. Wait, what was, what shirt was he wearing? That was weird. Apparently, Daisy made it through, like, a year ago because she's not saying anything, and that usually means she's way ahead of me. And congratulations, Daisy! You're amazing! I'm gonna be here forever. I just know it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Can you skip the stage? Because that would be really helpful. Ooh, what's this? Is it a robot that takes care of you? Transform into a mech bot. Click or tap to fire lasers. Um... Wait, what's this? Become a zombie and infect anyone in your way. Walk up to players and infect them. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Whoa, there are so many things to purchase in here. Um, I want them all. Wear this hat and jump to fly around. Okay, that won't work. Um, is that a lightsaber? I might need that. Become a Jedi and slice through any way the lightsaber. Also make you jump higher. Well, can I kill all these guys, though? Vacuum players and trap them in the vacuum pack? Um, wow. That is some seriously cool stuff. All right, guys. I'm going left again. Maybe I should go right. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Someone's following me. It's a creepy zombie. It's a creepy zombie. There's no way out of here. It's a creepy zombie. I just don't want to die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did it. I don't know. I think that was just dumb luck, guys. I don't think I actually like... Oh, I came up a well. Daisy? Daisy! Daisy! Whoa, did you buy the flamethrower? Yeah, but it doesn't actually work on the zombies. Oh, well, that was kind of a waste of money. Yeah, but I'm just glad to be out of there. That was creepy, right? Totally. What should we do now? Um, well... 
It looks like, um, uh, we're back at Granny's. What? No, we're not. This is someone else's house, right? I'm not really sure, but, oh, God. There's Granny. Ah! Wait a minute. But, 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 but I thought we escaped her. Uh, no, Molly. I don't think we actually did. I think, um, oh, my God. There she is again. Oh, she kind of glows in the dark. Stop kidding me. I think we just fell down of that grave, and then we had to do that part. That doesn't seem fair. Why did it make us do that part, then? Maybe we could go around this side of the house and hide from her. No! Nope! There's no hiding from her. No! 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 Oh, my God. I died again. <laughs> Can I vacuum up Granny? Because that would be amazing if I could. Well, I'm going to fall into the wall. Where am I? I don't even know. Um, all right. I can't go back that way. Uh, Daisy, where are we going? Oh, my God. I fell back down into this crazy tomb. I don't want to go down there. Zombies down there, creepy granny up here. Molly, follow me. I know where I'm going. I can't. Granny got me again. Sci-fi ninja star. Daisy, please come back for me. I'm right here, Molly Jeepers. Hurry up now before she gets us. She keeps getting me. Ay, ay, ay. She really has it out for you, Molly. Yeah, I guess so. I'm over here, Molly. You got this, girl. You got this. No, I don't. She keeps getting me. Maybe I'll make her chase you around or something. All right, here we go. I'm at Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm at Granny. Come on, Granny. Leave me alone. <laughs> you just keep dying, Molly. Okay, maybe she'll get this guy next. Yeah, go after him. He seems like the perfect victim for you, Granny. Wait, where is she? Oh, God, she's going after him. Molly, you got this! I think she went after that guy. Poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. Alright, can we make it? Yeah, go into this cellar, Molly. Come on. Oh my god, oh my god. The door won't open. Daisy! Oh boy, Molly. I tell you what. You're terrible at Abby's. I'm trying, alright? I'm trying. Whoa, what's down here? More Abby, Molly. What do you think? Platinum Falls. You cray-cray, man. You cray-cray. Whoa. All right, I think we can go down this way, Daisy. What do you think? I think I'm going to die, Molly. It was nice knowing you. Oh, man, that, man, that guy made it. Good for him. Well, Daisy, it was nice knowing you, too. Molly! What? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, my God. This is hard. I'm never going to make this. Aww. Oh, no. I did. I did. I did. I did. I'm so proud of myself right now. Oh, my gosh. Unicorn. There was ever a time I needed your powers. It's right now. This is the hardest Abby ever. I just want to escape Grumpy Granny and get a cupcake. Seriously, did I make it? Daisy, look at me. I made it. Good job, Molly. Now I bet Granny's going to be waiting for us. Um, no. Uh, a scooter race, though. <laughs> oh, my God. This is hilarious. <laughs> Go, go, go on my hover around. Go, go, go on my hover around. Oh, I blew up. <laughs> I got a little jazzy here. And um, I've got to try to make it here. Whoa. Whee! Okay, I want one of these in real life. <laughs> oh, man. Mother, you can't have that. You don't need it for wheels. I do need it. I could go get pizzas on this thing. Whee! Hi, Grandpa. Whoa. Wee! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I went off the edge. <laughs> Man, I just want to win so bad. Alright, here we go. Let's try this again, guys. Boing, boing, boing. Alright, I hope I can do it this time. Whoa! This part is really hard. Oh god, I don't know how to drive this thing. There's more? You have to go on this jazzy forever. Go, go, go on my hover around. Seriously, this part's really hard. Are you crazy? Molly, you did it. I can't believe it. I'm so proud of you. Oh, oh, it was stressful. All right, Molly, let's go through this door and get out of here. Oh, there's no getting out of here. This place just goes on and on and on. What just killed my sister? I don't even know. Uh, a giant bowling ball or something. 
Oh, wow, that's cray cray. Money! No! Oh, it's a giant ball of yarn. Grandma's into knitting, apparently. Oh, wow, it's just sitting there. Um, okay. That was silly. OMG! Daisy, don't get taken out. Okay, there we go. Oh, I see. We just gotta, like, hide. And when the next one comes, like, yep. Now we gotta go. Go, 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 go! I made it! Wadi, you're doing pretty good at this, Abby, actually. Wait a minute, did we just win? Who's that? Is that Granny? No, Molly. And look, we got a Cookie Zooka. Uh, I think the Cookie Zooka is so we can fight Granny. Uh oh. Granny, get in. Molly, back up, because she's about to come out, I think. There's more than one. I'm shooting cookies at her. <laughs> hmm, can I eat some of these? No, Molly, we need them. Hey, why are you got on top of me? Ow! Rude. All right, I'm gonna get my cookie Zuka and Granny. You going down, girl? You going down? I don't even see her anywhere. Where is that crazy woman? Cause I'm at Granny's house and I'm kind of sad she came. I'm at Granny's house and she's totally insane. Oh come on! Why does Granny keep jumping on me? Rude. Gotta go back and get my cookie zooka. Who's this guy? A police officer in there? Boom! You get a cookie at you too. Perfect. I'm not afraid of you. Boom! <laughs> boom! Boom! I'm just like running right at him. Boom! 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 Granny! Boom! You can't stand still. Oh my gosh, she gets you so easy. Would you like to buy a flame great sword? Will that take Granny down? Because if it does, that'd be nice. All right, here we go again, guys. I gotta take this Granny down. Granny Geddon is upon us, peoples. All right, here she comes. Die, evil grumpy Granny. Boom. There's so many of them everywhere. I mean, how do I even see where I'm going? And do I ever run out of cookies? I mean, these are the questions I have, people. Ah, there's too many. I can't take them all down. Daisy, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm out. CBC, Maddie, are you, are you giving up? I think I am. I think Grumpy Granny wins. Maddie, don't say that. Don't ever give up. There's just too many of them, and there's only one of us. She's cloned herself. Well, I mean, there's actually two of us, not one of us. There's only one of me. I love that the cookies like are like bombs. That's pretty cool. Oh wow, I think I just blew up that other guy. Oopsie, sorry. Come on! Why is she hitting me so many times? Rude. Daisy, I think we're like never gonna get out of here. Molly, you might be right. Granny, she's, she's all powerful. Yeah, she really is. I say we eat the cookies and cut our losses. Yeah. It might be the only thing we can do. Molly, what are you doing? Oh, there, wait a minute. I feel the oath move. Molly, are you seriously reading a book right now? What, what did you do with my sister? Are you an alien? <laughs> Quit being so dramatic, Daisy. I read. I'm very good at reading, actually. Well, what are you reading? Are you reading Harry Potter again? No, I'm actually reading the student handbook from school. Say what? That can't be right. <laughs> nice joke, Molly. <laughs> nice joke. No, seriously. It really is the student handbook. See? It says all students should be on time unless they're sick. Well, Molly, why are you reading a student handbook? Because, Daisy, this year is going to be a totally different year for me. Uh-huh, sure it is, Molly. Okay, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, I have to go back because I have to get ready for school and... Daisy, is that even English you're speaking right now? I don't even understand what you're saying because you're like yawn talking. Are you tired? Oh, I've got a big day tomorrow. First day of school and all. Oh, look, you girls are already in your PJs. Did you brush your teeth? Yep, totally did. I did too, Mom. I'm all ready to go to sleep for my big school day tomorrow. What about you, Molly? Are you all ready for your first day of school? Yeah, I'm actually excited. Wait, what? 
Who are you? What have you done with my daughter? Uh. Mom! Mom! Wake up! It's gonna be okay! Mom! Oh, great. You made Mom pass out because she's never heard you say you were ready for school in her entire life. Oh, my gosh. My daughter's actually gonna be ready for school. Yeah, Mom. I'm turning over an, a new leaf. You know, they say that when you want to be better and the best person you can. Seriously, Molly? You're not gonna get detention this year? Um, well, I can't promise that, but uh, I'm gonna try. Okay, Molly. Well, why don't you start by going to bed on time? Sounds good, Mom. I hope you girls have sweet dreams. Big day tomorrow. <laughs> it's morning already? Ugh, I'm still so tired. I'm so out. I hit my head. Excited out. Okay, I definitely can't be excited about the first day of school on top of my bunk bed because I just hit my head. Okay, that's better. <laughs> oh, look at Daisy. She's so lazy. She's still in bed. Oh, well, I'm going to go downstairs and get some breakfast. <sighs> I can't believe I beat my sister out of, <laughs> out of bed already. I'm already doing better at school than her. Hmm, what should I have for breakfast? Ice cream, waffles. Ooh, waffles. Ice cream's kind of a weird breakfast. You have to start off your school year right with a proper breakfast. Mm. Also want a banana because I'm really hungry. Mm. What am I going to wear for school? La, 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 la. I actually didn't pick out my outfit because, I don't know, my sister picked out her first day of school outfit like um, three months ago, but I didn't. Nah. Oh, this is kind of cute. Um, guys, if you like this first day of school outfit, slam that like button. What about this one? Ooh, that one's cute too. Okay, slam the like button now if you like this one. Ooh, for Halloween, I'm going to wear this. But since it's not Halloween yet, I have to pick a normal outfit. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you slam the like button for this one, you're so right. Because this is gonna what I'm going to wear to school today. And I think it's adorable. Well, I've had my breakfast and I'm all dressed. So it's time for school. Whoa, it's still dark out. I beat everybody to school. Have you ever gotten up so early in the morning that it's the moon is still up? Well, I did today. I better run, because I want to be there before everyone else. Ha! Huh. Brookhaven High School. Uh, it's pretty much been my arch nemesis since the day I started. But this year, no, no, no. Molly's going to be an awesome student. I can just figure out how to get my locker open. Stupid locker! Uh, I, can't, I can never get this locker open! Uh, I'm going to kick you, locker! Uh. That's it. Okay. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> I'm going to get my school books out of here one way or another. I wonder where all the students are. And did I actually beat my sister Daisy to school? Holy guacamole. That never happens. Good morning, Mr. Smith. Oh, I see he's already doing math on the board. Length plus width equals... What's that say? Mr. Smith, I can't see the board. <sighs> Oh. oh, must be your stomach's growling. You should have had breakfast before you came to school, Mr. Smith. Length plus width equals brains? Oh, so you get brain power if you know length plus width, right? <laughs> uh, Mr. Smith? Bah! Mr. Smith, you're a zombie! Bah! Mr. Smith went on vacation over the summer and, 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 and hung out with a bunch of zombies. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. I could just hide. I could hide in the auditorium. That sounds like... Or maybe the gym. Yeah, the gym's a better idea. Daisy? Oh my god, Daisy! I'm so happy to see you! Our math teacher is a zombie! Can you believe that? Uh... I love reading about... Braids! Because I love to eat them. Ah! Daisy! Not you too! No! My sister's a zombie! No! I gotta get out of this school. I gotta get out of this school! Oh, Mr. Smith is um, a little brain dead and can't figure out how to open the door. Which works out good for me. <laughs> okay, I'll go to the police station. That seems like a good idea. Oh, look! Someone that's not actually a zombie! Excuse me, excuse me, I need help! Can't you see I'm busy eating a donut? But everybody in my school has turned into a zombie, including my, te my teacher and my sister! This donut's good. Why are you so obsessed with that donut? Don't you care? There's zombies at the school. Mm, 
brains donut. Brains donut? What, what are you talking about? There's no such thing as a brain donut. Mm, I put brains on the donut. Why, why, would, why would you do that? Whoa, what happened to your face? It's, ah, you're, you, you, you just turned into a, 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 a zombie. Everyone in Brookhaven is a zombie on my first day of school. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, ah, ah. Molly, what's all that yelling about? Molly, wake up. What? Mom? What? Wait. Are you a zombie? What? No, of course I'm not. Didn't you hear your alarm? Your sister got up like 40 minutes ago. She's already left for school. Wait, what? Oh, no. I had a nightmare, Mom. It was about zombies on my first day of school. Oh, no, Molly. Well, it was just a nightmare, honey. And, and now you're going to be late for school, so hurry up. OMG, I got ready uh, for bed early and, 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 and I set my alarm and everything just so I could start off the school year right and 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 I I messed it up again! Oh Molly, it's okay. Just hurry, okay? Get dressed and um you can take an apple on the way to eat. Okay. Oh my god, I hope I can make it on time. I just wanted to start off this school year right! Oh my god, I hope I'm not late. I hope I'm not late! <laughs> Well, hello, Molly. Thank you for joining us for class. Oh, Molly, I thought you were going to turn over a new leaf. I tried to, okay, but uh, uh, I had a nightmare and I was a little bit late. Okay, class. Uh, I hate to do this on the first day of school, but I am a teacher, which means I can. <laughs> Here you go. Here's a test. Wait, what? A test? Oh, my gosh, this stinks. Don't worry, it only co counts for about half of your school year grade. But we haven't even learned anything yet. That, 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 that's not fair. Uh, 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 uh. uh, Mr. Smith, what's wrong? Uh. Daisy, Mr. Smith's a zombie. What, Molly, what are you talking about? What are you, crazy? We're taking a test. Uh. Ah, you're a zombie. Molly, you're being very disruptive to the class. What are you talking about? You're a zombie! No, I'm moaning because I ate bad guacamole for dinner last night and I really have to... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Smith farted! Mr. Smith farted! Oh, how embarrassing! And also, you have detention, Molly! Oh, man! I got detention in the first five minutes on the first day of school? Uh-oh. My mom's really not going to like this! Wow, it's a beautiful day! I can't believe spring is finally here! Ah, these flowers smell so pretty! Hey Molly, um, what are you doing? I'm stopping to smell the roses! <laughs> oh Molly, you're so silly! No, seriously, smell all these flowers. They smell so amazing. Was it just me or was this like the longest winter in the history of winters? Yeah, we got a ton of snow and it just seemed to drag on and 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 on. Uh, Brookie, we get your point. <laughs> well, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, we totally do because you said on and on and on and on and on and on. Okay, Molly. Totally get it. Anyway, I came here to tell you something really exciting. You did? What? There's a school dance tonight. What? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I know, right? It's going to be so much fun. Oh my gosh, I just realized I don't I don't have anything to wear. Well, <laughs> at least you'll have cool dance moves, right? I mean, look at mine. <laughs> I've totally got my dance moves on lock. Um, Yeah, I'm pretty good at dancing. Oh, let me try it. Whoa, Molly, you've been practicing your dancing, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. I called that one the scarecrow. Wow, you're going to definitely win first prize for best dancer. Daisy, 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 where are you? Daisy, Molly, what are you yelling about? I just finished up my schoolwork, jeepers. O-M-G, I have something insane to tell you. You're never going to believe it. 
Um, you failed another test. So hard to believe. No, I didn't. I did awesome on the English test today. You did? Yeah. <laughs> so awesome, I decided to take myself for a walk in the park. Whoa, that's that's awesome, Molly. I'm glad you did great on your test. So what's so insane that I'm never going to believe? Um, I was out smelling roses in the garden, and Brookie Cookie came along and told me a huge surprise. What, Marley? What is it? Okay, I want to know. Tell me right now. There's a school dance tonight. Say what? <laughs> a school dance? Are you serious? Yeah, and you dress like the prom. It's like super fancy. You have to have a fancy dress. It's going to be amazing. Oh my gosh, I don't have a dress, Molly. What am I going to do? Holy guacamole. Uh, get out of my room, please. I have much to do. I have to order a dress online. Did I have to get my hair done? Daisy, Molly, get out. Go to your own room and find your dress. Okay, fine. My sister takes school dances very seriously. <laughs> Here's my room. I love it. Ooh, a diamond just for me. Awesome. Ah, what a beautiful night for a school dance. Hello, Royal High. Tonight, I will be in first place for the best dancer. <laughs> oh, gosh. I can't get back in. All right, my window was stuck there for a minute. That was really scary. All right, now I've got to figure out what I'm going to wear to this thing because obviously it's like the prom, so let's see. Um... Oh, look out! Oh my gosh! We have all this stuff in here for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, how about style? Glam. OMG! That is crazy. How about this one? <laughs> so pretty. This one's too Christmassy. Um, hmm. The ball is starting soon. Would you be like to be announced? Ah, uh, yes! I would like to be Lady Molly. And I would like to cheer. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I better hurry! This one's it. I feel like Elsa in this. It's so beautiful. All right, should I do anything different with my hair? I don't know. I kind of like my hair the way it is. I'm going to leave my hair. I'm wearing a dress. That counts, right? Brookie! Oh my gosh! We both decided to dress kind of like Elsa for the school dance. Molly, your outfit looks beautiful. OMG. Your outfit looks beautiful too, Brookie. I love blue. It's like my favorite color. Mine too. This is why we're besties, because we have so much in common. Are you ready to go to the to the ball? This is going to be amazing. Yeah, I just know you're going to win first place as best dancer. I hope so. I've really been practicing. Yes! The royal ball has begun. This is going to be amazing. Oh, wow, Alex! Holy guacamole. Um, wh where's everybody's faces? Um, guys? The faces are missing! Oh, wait, he has a face. That's good. People are just, like, running in here like crazy. Molly, I feel like I'm gonna be late for the ball! Holy guacamole, Daisy, hurry up! Hello, I am Brookie. Oh, look at me! Hey, everybody! It's Lady Molly. <laughs> Hello, everyone! Whoa, Daisy! Hey, it's Sarah. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting Sarah to be here. Everyone has arrived. Now let the dancing and festivities begin. Would anyone like to have a delicious treat? Now, first I have to um, show off my, uh, my awesome dance moves so that they can say I'm the best dancer in the whole world. Here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, breaking it down. Do, 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 oh yeah. Breaking it down. Wow, Molly. You're starting out with an interesting dance. Wow, Daisy, you look amazing. Thanks, Brookie. I was born to be prom queen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, Brookie, with those moves, you're going to win first place. I don't think so, losers. I'm the best dancer here. What? No, I I I've been practicing. I I'm a great dancer. Um... You kind of look like the red dress lady. I am the red dress lady. Your worst nightmare. <laughs> Whoa, Sarah. Um, That's like great. You're just kind of walking in place. I'm amazing and you're not. Okay, time to ch change up my dance moves. Show off exactly what I really can do. 
Okay, not that one. The robot dance. Do 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 Did you guys hear? Sarah is such an amazing dancer. What, Emma? I'm an amazing dancer too. And by the way, your dress is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I heard that Sarah's gonna win first place. What, seriously? She's gonna win first place? Um, yeah, I can't even believe it. Ugh, you guys, go away. I mean, Molly's totally gonna be the one that wins. I knew you guys would support me. Sorry, I didn't mean to hear your conversation, but you're being kind of loud. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? Ball attendees, we have an announcement to make. Oh my gosh, this is where they say I'm I'm first place. This is this is it. This is it, Daisy. I know, Molly. I'm gonna be plum queen, and you're gonna get the trophy for best dancer. The best dancer. First place is Sarah! Wait, what? Did, 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 did they just say Sarah? Oh no. Molly, I'm I'm so sorry this has happened to you. Molly, how could this be? You're the best dancer. Everybody knows it. I think this was rigged. <laughs> Look at me, I'm amazing! I won first place! And you're nothing more than a loser. What? I can't, I, can't, I can't believe this. Oh no, I practiced for weeks and all my dreams, they didn't come true. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie. Isn't this baby super adorable? Well, I was born at Brookhaven Hospital too. 15 years ago, and I was super adorable as well, except I was the size of a peanut. <laughs> At least that's what my mom told me. You see, I was born five months too early. That's right, I was a preemie. My mom, her name is Rosie, she was really afraid. She knew babies weren't supposed to come this soon, but my dad, his name is Steve, he told her everything was gonna be okay. He just knew it. Honey, everything's gonna be okay. I just know it. But, but, but what if our sweet little girl is, is sick or something? I mean, babies aren't supposed to be born five months early. Honey, I just know she's gonna be okay. And I need you to relax because whether we like it or not, the baby is on its way. Okay, Rosie, I need you to push. Are you sure? I mean, maybe the baby could just stay in my tummy a little longer. I'm sorry, but she's choosing to come out now, so I need you to push! And just like that, I made my entrance into the world. I had the smallest little cry because I was so small. Can I see my baby? Let me see my baby! I'm sorry, Rosie, but your baby needs to go straight to the NICU. She's far too small and she needs to be on oxygen. So this is me. I spent five months in the NICU, gaining weight and becoming, well, only four pounds, but that was enough that the doctor sent me home. Wee, wee. Rosie, why is Katie crying? I don't know, I've never had a baby before. I, I'm just trying my best to soothe her. It's okay, Katie, shh, shh, shh. it's okay. You know, Rosie, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of nervous to have Katie home. I mean, at the hospital, there was nurses and doctors there to take care of her, and she's so little still. It, I just want to protect her from all the bad things in life. Me too, Steve. Me too. The doctor said that, you know, she could have some medical problems because she was born so early. So we just have to be super protective of her. So from that day forward, my parents treated me like, 
Well, I was made of glass or something. I was so fragile that I couldn't do anything. I don't want to get by, I do Oh my gosh, is she okay? Is she okay? Yes, honey, I think she's okay, but she's she's almost two years old. She needs to start walking, or she's gonna be behind all the other kids. Well, the doctor did say she's a preemie, so it might take her longer. She needs to start talking too, honey. Uh, I I want to protect her, but but when is she gonna do these things? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. All right, come on, Katie. You can do this. You need to start taking your steps. Come on. It was true. I did do everything late. I crawled late, I walked late, and I talked late. But it was only because I was born so early. Maybe if I take Mr. Monkey, it'll encourage her to walk over here. What do you think, Steve? Well, I think it's kind of mean. Why would you take her favorite toy? Well, I'm not going to take it forever. I'm just saying, if Mr. Monkey walks across the room, maybe Katie will. Well, I guess it's worth a try. Okay, Katie, I've taken Mr. Monkey because he's walked all the way over here. Can you take a step over here? I do, I do, the monkey. Oh my gosh, she didn't walk over there, but she said her first word. Finally, Katie, that's amazing. I do, I do, I do, I do, monkey. Whoa, that was a lot of words all together. Oh my gosh, I think she's going to try to walk. Be careful, honey. Be careful. You're very fragile. You were a preemie. Come on, honey. You can do it. Come on. Oh my gosh, she's doing it. Should we put some pillows under her? She might fall. She might hit her head. She might break her arms. I mean, she's so fragile. I think she's going to do it. Oh, oh, she did. She walked. Hooray. And just like that, I caught up with everyone else my age. I started talking. I started walking. And I even got potty trained pretty quickly after that. But my parents just couldn't accept that I was going to be okay. Hey, Hannah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Katie from school. Hey, um, I think you're really cool. And I was wondering, do you want to be my friend? You do? Awesome. Um, well, what do friends do? They have sleepovers? Really? Okay, well, um, why don't you come to my house in like an hour? Yeah, sure. Ask my parents. Hold on. Oh my gosh. I think my friend is going to come over for a sleepover. This is going to be amazing. Mom, Dad, Mom, Dad. I finally made a friend at school. Mom, Dad, Mom, Dad. Oh, wow, honey. That's awesome. Uh, What's her name? Hannah. Oh, uh, honey, you should run down the stairs, okay? You might fall and get hurt. And we all know you're very fragile. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, Mom, Dad, uh, since I have a new friend, she said that we have sleepovers. And I was wondering, I was wondering, can she come over for a sleepover? A sleepover? Oh, I don't know about that, Katie. I don't think you're old enough. Mom, I'm eight years old. Of course I'm old enough. All the kids have sleepovers now. That's what Hannah said anyway. Well, um, I don't know, honey. What do you think? I mean, I don't see any problem with it. But they might get rambunctious. She might get a concussion. Well, I have a way to solve that. <laughs> you do? So I can have my sleepover? Um, yeah. As long as your mom says it's okay. Well, you better show me this solution so she doesn't get hurt. Okay, Katie. Just hold still. What is this? It's a helmet. It'll protect your head so you don't get a concussion when your friend comes over. You wore one of those when you were a baby for a few months. It helped your head to shape the right way because your head started to have a shape like an egg. It was weird. I am not wearing this helmet when Hannah is here. It's embarrassing. She'll laugh at me. Well, take your choice, honey. If you want to have your sleepover, then you got to wear the helmet. Ugh. Ugh. Fine. Mr. Monkey, I have a friend. Her name is Hannah, and she's coming over for our very first sleepover. I'm so excited. <gasps> there she is now. I hope she doesn't pick on me about my helmet. Hey, Hannah, come on in. Whoa, your house is amazing. Wait, what are you wearing a helmet for? Um, my parents are just kind of overprotective. I hate having to wear this. I'm so sorry. I look ridiculous. Oh, don't worry about it, Katie. I'm not even going to pay attention to that. We're going to have the best sleepover ever. 
Okay, girls, why don't you come over here for some ground rules? Yeah, girls, ground rules. All right, no um, running up and down the stairs. No eating peanuts. What? Why can't we have anything with peanuts? Because we're not quite sure if you're allergic, Katie. Mom, I have had peanut butter and nothing bad has ever happened. Yes, but we've only tried it 20 times. On the 21st time, you might have an allergic reaction. See what I mean about them being overprotected, Anna? Yeah, they're really overprotective. Sorry, Katie. Okay, so I made a list of all the rules. I won't bore you guys since it's your first sleepover. Great. Bye, Mom. Remember the first rule. No running up and down the stairs. Come on, Hannah. I'll show you my room. Oh, this helmet is so ridiculous. Whoa, your room is cool. Bunk beds. That's amazing. Yeah, my parents won't let me sleep on the top bunk, though, so you're going to have to. Really? Why? Because they said if I fall off, I might get a concussion. What's your the deal with your parents? They're kind of weird. I don't know. I guess it's because I was a preemie, so they're just worried about me. I was born five months too early. Whoa, are you serious? Yeah, but I'm totally fine now. Hey, um, I told you to wear your bathing suit because we have an amazing pool. Do you want to see it? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Um, Katie, are you going to wear that helmet into the pool? Ugh, I guess not. I mean, my parents aren't around, so I guess I don't have to wear it. Aw, your hair looks so pretty. I couldn't even see it under that helmet. All right, Hannah, you jump in first since you're the guest. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> the water feels amazing. Come on in, Katie. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> this is so much fun. Thanks for coming to my sleepover. Oh my god! Oh my god, Katie! You can't swim! Get out of there! Mom, I've been able to swim for four years. What are you talking about? See? Oh my god! Get your life vest on! Get your floaty on! Get out of the pool! Hurry, come to the edge! Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, just take my hand. I'll help you out. Mom, I'm fine. I don't think you're fine. Maybe I need to do CPR. Katie, say something. Mom, I'm fine. All right. Well, I want you to wear your life jacket. That was a close one. Mom, I can swim. Life jacket, Katie. There. Now you're ready to go in the pool. Mom, I can't even move. Wait a minute. Where's your helmet? You need your helmet. Um, I don't need a helmet. I'm not going to get a concussion in the pool. Actually, you could get a concussion there better than anywhere else. <laughs> I have a special scuba helmet just for this occasion. There! Now you look very safe. I mean, as safe as you can be going into the pool. I agree, honey. I can't believe this is my life. Ugh. Whoa, Katie, what are you wearing? My parents said I have to wear a life jacket and a floaty in this scuba helmet. Well, if you have to wear it, you could still get in the pool, right? Come on in. Somehow, I don't feel like getting in the pool ha anymore. I, I think, I think this sleepover should be over. Really? Okay. Well, um, maybe some other time. Yeah, Hannah. Sorry to disappoint you. I wish I could say that as I got older, things got better with my parents, but it was just the opposite. They got more and more crazy and overly protective. Now I'm 15 and I can't ever leave my house. I remember the day they decided I could never leave my house again. It was the day that I got a boyfriend. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Luke is calling me. Oh my gosh, I thought he didn't even notice me. I mean, I sit behind him in science class, but he never says anything to me. And now he's calling me. Oh, should I answer it? Should I? Okay, I'm going to answer it. H Hello? Hey, uh, this is Luke. Uh, yeah, the caller ID said. <laughs> uh, Katie, I was just wondering um, if you wanted to go to the dance with me on Friday because... Well, I think you're really cute and smart and nice, and um, I just really want you to go. Do you want to go with me? Uh, yeah. And today, me and some of my friends are getting ice cream at 3 o'clock. Do you want to meet us there? Brookhaven ice cream? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, well, I'll see you there, okay? Okay, bye. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He asked me out twice. Katie. Did a boy just call you? Um, no. What are you talking about? I don't even have my phone out. 
according to this app that tracks everything you do, a boy named Luke that you go to school with who you sit behind in science class called you. How do you know all that? I know everything. <laughs> I have to protect you from life. Dad, that's invading my personal privacy. That, that, that's not cool, Dad. I don't care if it's cool. I'm just protecting you. And um, so what was this conversation about? Uh, he asked me to go for ice cream and then to the dance on Friday. I was afraid this would happen. Katie, you're never leaving the house ever again. What? <laughs> you must be kidding, right, Dad? Nope, your mother and I decided that when a boy asked you out, it was just meaning that everything in the entire world is unsafe. And now you have to stay home permanently. I, I, I can't even... I, I can't even talk to you right now. Get out of my room. Um, no, we have an open door policy in this house. I don't care. Get out of my room. All right, I'll allow it this one time. Um, but I'm also taking the hinges off your door because, uh, we have an open door policy. Oh my gosh. I can't stand the way my parents are. I know they love me, but they don't let me live my life. I don't know what I'm going to do. That was the day that my parents locked me away in my house. I thought for forever. Until one day, the unthinkable happened. Hey, Katie, are you hungry? Uh, there's apples in the fridge. Your favorite. Yeah, I guess I'm sort of hungry. Katie, you have to eat. You can't not eat. Yeah, honey, just because you're a prisoner here. I mean, not a prisoner. <laughs> That's the wrong choice of words. You're just being kept safe. Yeah, exactly what she said. I do feel like a prisoner. Honey, I know you didn't mean to call her a prisoner, but I sort of feel like maybe she is. Maybe we're making the wrong decision here. No, honey. We have been keeping her safe since the day she was born. And we have to make sure we continue to. She was born five months early. She'll be a preemie forever. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. Really, honey? It's only six o'clock. Yeah, I just feel kind of sad. Well, walk carefully up the stairs, honey. We don't want you to fall. Yeah, okay. Ugh, my parents are driving me insane. I feel like a prisoner. <coughs> and then it happened. I choked on my apple. I couldn't breathe. I clawed at my neck, but I, I couldn't get any air in. I jumped up and down, hoping that maybe I could dislodge the apple from my throat, but, but I couldn't. There was only one thing to do, run down the stairs and get my parents. But as I was running down the stairs, something unthinkable happened. <laughs> Katie, oh my God, Steve, Steve, come quick. Katie fell down the stairs. Oh my God, Katie, say something. <coughs> oh my God, I don't think she can breathe. W -w -w what's happening? Uh, I don't know. She fell down the stairs. Was she running? We always told her not to run. <coughs> Look, honey, she's got an apple. Do you think she's choking? I don't know. I better try the Heimlich. Well, I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, maybe she broke something. When she fell down the stairs, it'll break it further. Honey, she's not breathing. I have to do something. Okay, Katie, I've got to do the Heimlich. <coughs> uh, I can breathe again. I can breathe. That was the scariest thing ever. I can't believe that happened. I mean, we've been protecting her from everything, I thought. Oh, I can't believe it happened either. It's like life just happened whether we wanted it to or not. Duh, I could have told you guys that. Life just does happen whether you want it to or not. You can't stay locked up in your house and pretend that life isn't going to happen. Bad things happen sometimes and you just have to deal with them. And frankly, I am tired, sick and tired of being trapped in this house with no friends, no boyfriend, no being able to go do anything without wearing a crash helmet. It's so frustrating. You're ruining my life. Whoa, Katie, we were just trying to keep you safe. Yeah, honey, we were just trying to keep you safe. Well, keeping me safe is one thing, but, but, but keeping me from life is another. You have to let me live. I think she might be right. Rosie, what have we been doing? I don't know, Steve, but I think we've got this parenting thing all wrong. Everything from that moment changed. 
My parents used to treat me like I was a baby even though I was 15. But that moment just changed their minds, thankfully. And I'm actually happy now. I have a friend and a boyfriend. I go places and I got to go back to school. Hey Hannah, you ready to ride bikes? I sure am. And um, I was thinking we could go get ice cream. Yeah, great, I'll call Luke. We can see if he'll meet us there. Perfect, let's go. What, I got detention, are you serious? Um, yeah, I'm used to getting detention, but pretty sure that Daisy's never gotten it before. Huh. Detention rules, I will not annoy Mr. Pickle. <laughs> Mr. Pickle, I will not try to escape from detention. Yeah, right. And I will not set off stink bombs in the classroom. Uh, ew, Molly, you said no stink bombs. Um, yeah, I couldn't help it, though. I had to fart. <laughs> oh, whoa, I'm going to use this chair, and I'm going to escape. But rule number two is, is we're not allowed. I don't care what number two is. I need to get out of here. Look at this insane obby. Whoa, you can buy, like, crazy things in here. Like, what's this? Speed boots. Or... What's this one? Ultimate bundle. Dun, dun, dun. Don't buy those, Molly. It's cheating. It's not cheating if you buy them. I mean, the game developer put them in here so we could buy them if we wanted to. But it would be stealing if you took them without paying for them. <laughs> yeah, but it's also cheating because it gives you an advantage. Which, Molly, if we're being honest, you need. Whatever! I have my unicorn. That's all I need. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, where do I go now? Um, I'm confused. Marty, push the button. Okay, I pushed it. It's not working. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do! Uh, follow me, Marty. Good grief. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I see what I'm supposed to do now. Well, sometimes those burn you, so how am I supposed to know if they're, like, good or bad? True, Marty. That is true. Sometimes the steam, like melts you and then other times it's just regular ale and it makes you go high up in the sky yeah exactly okay push the elevator i'm gonna go up you're so lazy molly go push it yourself <laughs> okay i'm gonna push this and the elevator's gonna take me up in the air yes i haven't died not even once i'm so proud of myself right now well, Molly, that's not saying much because normally you die about 6,000 times. <laughs> when it comes to Abby's, I really do die, like, a ton! Woo, what's in here? Snacks? No, Molly, not snacks. But look, we have to rearrange stuff in here, I think. Uh, okay, respawn button. Do we have to put this here? Oh, I think, I think it's, like, way high up, and you've got to, you've got to use these things to, um, to stack to be able to leave. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Come on, Molly, you got it. Whoa, you're really smart today. I think so. Um, Daisy, are we supposed to go down there? Um, well, um, yes, I think so. Whoa. I've never been in um, events like this before. It's kind of crazy, like going downhill and stuff. Maybe that means we can leave. I'm sick of being in this school. Yeah, tell me about it. Detention is the pits. Okay, can't go that way. Can't go that way. Wait, Daisy, did you just go through that vent, Daisy? Okay, I'm not sure if Daisy went through here or not, but I, I can't, so... Uh, maybe I'm too chubby because I ate too many cupcakes, but... I literally do not know how to get out of here now. Help! I'm stuck! Wait, maybe I forgot to pick something up. I feel like maybe I forgot to pick up something I needed because... Now I literally cannot get out of here. Somebody help me. Molly just walks straight ahead. Jeepers. Oh, wait, there's a hole here. Whoa! See, Molly? Now we're back in the school. Well, we didn't want to be back in here. We wanted to escape. It's okay, Molly. I know we're going to actually escape. Oh, look, we're outside the classroom now. There's Mr. Pickle. And he's sleeping with his eye open. No, 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 no. Looked like his eyes were open, but nope, they're closed. I was gonna say, whoa, he's super creepy if he sleeps with his eyes open. What? Oh my god, did he catch me? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah, Mr. Pickle, no, please! 
I don't want to go back to detention. Please, please, please. Wait, did I, did I go all the way back to detention? Thank goodness. I thought I had to go back to Mr. Pickle's detention. I was going to cry. I need to move super fast so he doesn't get me again. Because, uh-oh, there's security cameras in here. I don't know where my sister went. She took off. Left me here. Oh, my God, there's the outside. Ah, and there's Mr. Pickle. <laughs> Mr. Pickle, I really didn't deserve detention this time. <laughs> um, I don't think that was the um way humans talk to each other, but, you know, I could be wrong. Ah! Mr. Pickle! <laughs> All right, guys, I might, I might need Power of the Unicorn. Say it with me. Power of the Unicorn with a sparkly horn. All right, now where is the key to get out of this place? I obviously need a key. I have no idea where... To, oh, my God. I Never mind. I found it. Power of the Unicorn worked. Now, somehow I have to get away from Mr. Pickle, which I don't see him, which tells me he's probably right behind me. <laughs> Yep, I can hear him. Is that your stomach or are you talking? Ha ha ha! Thanks for waiting for me, Daisy. Oh, look, Mr. Pickle's like right outside the door. <laughs> See ya, Mr. Pickle! See ya, Mr. Pickle! Come on, Marty. Quit trying to be so teasing and taunting to Mr. Pickle. We've got to get out of here before he figures out how to get into the door. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to fall to my death right there. Holy guacamole, I don't like this, Daisy. I don't like it. No, oh, You made it, Molly. Look, this is just like gymnastics. Yeah, only look at where you go down and die if you fall. That's not like gymnastics. I can't even talk right now because I'm so nervous about how I'm going to die. You're not going to die, Molly. You haven't even died once. You're doing amazing. Yeah, she's got a point there. Um, Where do we go now? I'm confused. Wait, did I just go in a big circle? Go up, Molly, go up! Oh, yeah, go up. <laughs> I knew that. Oh, this is like boxing class. Uh-oh. Whoa. Okay, gotta wait. Gotta be patient. If you're not patient, it gets you. A zip line? What? <laughs> I kind of just pushed Daisy down. That was kind of funny. Whee! <laughs> Whoa, uh-oh. I jumped too soon. Ah! Okay, I... 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 I ruined the record, Daisy. I died. It's okay, Molly. It's okay. Try not to jump too soon, Molly. Oh, there. That's better. Now where do I go? Oh, no. Not another springboard. I'm kind of nervous about this. Wow! I didn't make it. No! Oh, boy. Ow. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Whee! Oh, I see. If you run and jump, that's the best way to get across it. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Made it. I only died twice. Oops. Oh, boy. We're never getting out of here. Of course we will, Daisy. Don't say that. All right. Is this supposed to be a basketball or a giant orange? What is this? I'm not really sure, but... Um, we need it, apparently. Score a goal. Oh, it's supposed to be a basketball. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be here a minute because I'm not really sportsy. When it comes to basketball. Oh, boy. Wait. Is there a special sp place you can, like, stand to make a goal? Yes! Finally! <laughs> oh, boy. Mr. Pickles. <laughs> Mr. Pickles after us again! Oh, Mr. Pickle. Y y you don't have to get me. Seriously. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Ah! I can't even talk right now. I'm like so scared that I'm going to end up back in detention. I'm going to go in the bathroom and hide. That sounds like a good idea, right? Oh my God, Mr. Pickle's right behind me. Wait, did he get me? I think Mr. Pickle got me. I didn't get into the bathroom stall fast enough. Where is he? Okay, I'm going to wait till he's down to the end of the hall. And then I'm going to make him run for it. Make a run for it. Got to make a run, run, run for it. Um, so, okay, the door is open to the bathroom. Uh, now I just need to go into the stall. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Hey, how'd you get me in the bathroom? Mr. Pickle. <laughs> Good thing I wasn't farting in here or something. You'd be really sorry then, wouldn't you? 
Okay, not this time, Mr. Pickle. Not this time! Molly, use the Seno stove! There's a vent to get out of it! Oh, there's Cece! Why didn't I see her before? Because you were too scared about Mr. Pickle, probably. You're probably right. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Ah! Ah! No! Oh god, oh god, I got it! Oh, I made it! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha, Mr. Pickle! Ha ha ha! Oh boy, that was a close one, Molly. Yeah, tell me about it. Good thing this event, this vet was here. Now what? Now we have to make another basket, Molly. These are weird basketballs. Literally, they look like oranges. Okay. Um, I have to try to hit that target. Bazinga! Don't tell me I hit it before you. Yes, Molly. Yes, yes, you totally did. <laughs> I beat my sister. Nee, 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 nee. Whee! Oh, God. I just lost my head. What? Why? Um, because there's like a laser in here um, when you get to the top. And oopsie, I accidentally ran into it. All right, I gotta stay over to this side. And then immediately over to this side. And then, wait, 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 where? Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, no! Oh, man. All right, I'm gonna check it out again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, whoa. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? <laughs> oh, God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, I have to go out of first person, because that's, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, let's see if I can fix myself. Nope. Um, I'm, ah, I'm stuck in the ceiling. Daisy, <laughs> help me. All right, guys, so let's try this again. I'm trying not to die. Uh, no promises, though. Okay, if I go this way, maybe I can survive this. So far, so good. Wait, what? Oh, maybe you have to go right up in the middle. Holy guacamole, this is much harder than I thought. Okay, over here, and then over here, whoa, then in the middle, right? Oh, man, I got fried again. I know I can do this. I know I can. Wait a minute. Okay, I've got a good view now, so I hope I can make it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, then over this way, then, Daisy, there you are. Oh, boy, Molly, you really, really had a hard time with this part, but you finally made it. Now that I'm 80 years old. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, Daisy. Ha, ha. Whee! <laughs> I feel like we've spent so much time in vents in this game. Tell me about it. Whoa! I want a cupcake. I want a cupcake so bad. Cupcakes. Cupcakes! Muddy, be quiet. You're making me hungry. And we don't want Mr. Pickle to heal us. Whoa, can we go into the cafeteria? Because that would be, like, the best thing ever. Oh, we did! It's like the universe heard me. Uh, Molly, I think that's a power up juice. So be careful, it's gonna make you run super fast! Holy guacamole! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Whoa! <laughs> this is even better than a cupcake! Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Guys, if you haven't played this game yet, I would highly recommend it. It's really fun! Whoa, Daisy, you're like so far ahead of me. I can run faster than you, Molly. No, you can't, Daisy. Root. Whoa! Oh, no, no, no! Oh! Now I have to do it all over again? Seriously? Okay, here we go. Do 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 Running super fast, gonna get out of detention. Hey, 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 what's new? Why are you waiting here, Daisy? Because I felt sorry for you that you were so far behind, Molly. Okay, if you say so. I'm not behind. You're behind. <laughs> Whee! Okay, this one's very hard. That's where I keep messing up. Yes! <laughs> I did it. Um, Mr. Pickle, why is, why is he on a go-kart? You have to race him, Molly. Go for it. Um... Are we going now? Uh-oh, 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 whoa! Wait a minute, Mr. Pickle! Molly, you can't be second behind Mr. Pickle! Look at him, he's so chubby. How'd you get behind him? Oh, we got a speed boost. Rude, Mr. Pickle. <laughs> okay, that's just weird. Get out of here, Mr. Pickle! I'm gonna try to shove him off the road. Ooh, a speed boost. 
Uh oh, he's got one too. Whoa! Get out of here, Mr. Pickle! Whoa! How do you get that speed boost? You didn't even go over it. That's just rude. I'm gonna get him, Molly! Daisy! <laughs> it looks like Daisy's on some sort of weird boots or something. Whoa! Oh no, my head went flying off. Uh oh! Okay, Mr. Pickle wants to race me again. Do I get to get out of school if I win? Vroom, vroom, vroom! Here we go! He always gets in first. I don't get it. It's kind of rude if you ask me. Whoa! Speed boost. Speed boost, Mr. Pickle! I want to beat you so bad, Mr. Pickle. Because you're rude for giving me detention. off the edge mr pickle is evil i'm just gonna say it okay i can do this i know i can i, I just i want to win really bad <laughs> yeah okay if you say so mr pickle but you're not gonna beat me see i just beat you get out of here you smell like you smell like a fart <laughs> yeah yeah how'd you like that it was a nice compliment wasn't it <laughs> Speed boost! I think I might have tossed Mr. Pickle over the edge. I'm not really sure. I haven't heard from him and I don't see him. Oh, yeah. Okay, this part is like really hard and I don't... I don't know if I'm going to make it, guys, but I hope that I do. I really hope so. Whoa! <laughs> I made it! I made it! Nah, 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 nah. Winners! Oh, yeah! Congratulations, Molly! You beat Mr. Pickle! Wow, longest Abby ever, right? I know, but I like when they're long because then it just, it's like they're really super challenging. Well, this one's definitely a challenge at certain points. Like, some points it seems pretty easy, and then at other points it's like, whoa! Wait, what? What is this? Does it look like Mr. Pickle is going to shoot stuff at us? It sort of does, Molly. Uh-oh. Okay, um, my pea shooter against the Lernatron. Yeah, right. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I can't even see myself right now. I'm going to zoom out so I can see what I'm doing. Ah! He's after me, Daisy. He's after me. Molly, he's going to kill you, cheapos. Die, Mr. Pickle! I'm not gonna learn your your stuff. Ew, I'm shooting like spit wads at him. That's disgusting. Take that, Mr. Pickle! Oh my gosh, he's out, he's got me like trapped in a corner. Daisy! Molly, get way far back! You can do this, Molly! Is he shooting books at me? He is. Ha <laughs> that's funny. Okay, Daisy, you shoot him while I distract him. No, I think we each have to take him down ourselves. Oh man. Oh, God. He shot a book at my head and I died. Where's my pea shooter? I guess I don't get it until I go forward. O-M-G. My sister got out of school. Molly, watch out. He's after you. I hadn't noticed, Daisy. Ah, I was stuck inside his stomach. Molly, hurry. The school bus is going to leave without you. Well, I can certainly walk home. I just, I don't want to be stuck with Mr. Pickle anymore. Molly, I think it's safe to say you're stuck in detention forever. Wait, what? He's going to keep winning, Molly. He's very strong. No, he's not going to beat me. I will just keep trying and, until my very last breath. Well, your last breath isn't going to be too long from now, Molly. Turn around and shoot him. Oh, man. My sister's stuck in attention forever. What? No! Daisy, let me out! I can't, Molly. School bus is leaving. See you! Daisy! Ah! I'm to be late for school. And I actually did my homework, so I want credit for it, you know? <laughs> Where's my math book? Where's my math book? Oh, I can't find my math book! Okay, um, maybe I left it in the chair. No. Where was I studying last night? Think, Molly, think. Oh, wait, I had to go to the bathroom. Maybe it's in the toilet. Math book! Are you down there? 
Just kidding. Although sometimes I'd like to um, flush all of my school books down the toilet. No, it's not on the desk. Wait, what's that on the table? I think it's my math book! Yup, it, it sure is. I'm just gonna pick it up, put it in my backpack, and away I go. Molly, hurry up! The bus is here! Coming! Good morning, everyone! It's good to see you here. Especially you, Molly. You're actually on time. <laughs> yeah, and I did my homework. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh! What'd you do with Molly? Who are you? <laughs> Guys, today, mathlete tryouts are happening. I know all you mathletes would be amazing at that. Yeah, uh, more work and homework. Uh, I don't know about that. Hey, Molly. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, uh, I sat next to you. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I see you sat next to me. S sitting in that chair is, is nice. Oh, really? Why? Um, uh... Uh, is it because uh, I'm sitting next to you? No, 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 that's not why. <laughs> it's because you're sitting under the heat duct, and so you stay nice and toasty. Oh, <laughs> I see. Okay, class, please take out your math books. We're going to go over lesson number three. Math book, math book, math book. Wait, here it is. O-M-G. I accidentally brought my diary. Oh, my gosh. Talks all about my crush in it. Okay, I'll just put it back in my backpack and tell the teacher I forgot my math book. Did Molly just say that she brought her diary to school? <laughs> I bet there's some awesome secrets in there she doesn't want anyone to know. And that's exactly why I have to read it. <laughs> when her back's turned, I'll steal it right from her backpack. Mrs. Stevens, I forgot my math book. I'm sorry. I. I, I brought the wrong book with me, but I did my homework. It's okay, Molly. Do I have to have detention? No, you don't have to have detention. Really? I finally managed to not get detention. I'm super proud of myself right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Molly has a crush on Luke? <laughs> this is perfect. Dear Luke, meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Molly. <laughs> Dear Molly, meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Luke. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to prank her so good. <laughs> hey, Molly, you could share math books with me if you want. Really? Wow. Uh, Thanks, Luke. No problem. Okay, class. You guys can head off to English. I don't want you to be late. Yeah, that would be a tragedy. <laughs> Are you even paying attention? Hello? <sighs> Is she sleeping? Huh? What? Huh? Wake up! Huh? What? What'd I miss? Pretty much all of English class. Here, Luke wanted me to give you this letter. Really? Yeah, he said it's pretty urgent. Okay, thanks. No problem. Don't say I never did anything for you. Wow, a letter from Luke? I wonder what it says. Dear Molly, please meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Luke. OMG, I think he's going to ask me to the school dance. Best day of my life. Okay, everyone, class is dismissed. Wow, it's the end of the day. <laughs> Guess I need to meet Luke in the auditorium. Oh my god, there's Luke. I'm kind of nervous. He makes me feel, like, really shy, because I really have a crush on him. Hey, Molly! Oh, hi, Luke! Hey, um, so, uh, you wanted to meet me here? Wait, what? No, you wanted to meet me here! Uh, no, Molly, um, I got your letter. <laughs> I didn't write you a letter, you wrote me a letter! No, you wrote me a letter. Sarah gave it to me. Attention, Molly and Luke. What is going on? This is Sarah, and I want you to know that <laughs> I read your diary, Molly. Ah! What? <laughs> That's right. I'm going to read you guys a little bit of what Molly said. No, Luke, cover your ears. You don't want to hear this. What? Why? And why'd you write me that letter and now you're saying you didn't? I didn't write you the letter! I'm guessing that Sarah wrote you a letter from me. And then she wrote me a letter from you. Why would she do that? Oh, 
I can only take a guess. Okay, here you go. Dear diary, Luke is so cute. Huh? You wrote this, Molly? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. This is really Molly, diary. It's not Daisy or baby Kira. I really like Luke. He's cute. He's adorable. He's smart. He is like an amazing football player. Love, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm humiliated! <laughs> By the way, losers, I have locked you into the school for 24 hours. <laughs> have fun! Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm mortified! I'm so embarrassed! I can't believe she stole my diary and read it out loud! Hey, Molly! Ah! What are you doing here? This is the girl's bathroom! Well, no one else is around, and, 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 and you ran away before I could even say anything. Wow, the girl's bathroom is much bigger than the boys. O-M-G, get out of here! Um, wait, I just want to tell you something. I, I like you too. Wait, what? You do? Yup, I do. I think you're cute, and amazing, and smart, and funny, even if you don't do your homework. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. And I'm kind of glad that I'm stuck in the school with you for 24 hours. We can have, like, a first date. This is a date? Yup. If you want it to be, that is. I totally do. Aww. Maybe we should go to the cafeteria and, well, eat pizza. I love that idea! <laughs> Let's eat all the pizza so that they don't have any for lunch tomorrow and they'll be like, Where's all the pizza? And we can secretly laugh inside because we'll know the answer and they won't. Wow, complex, Luke. Okay, let's do it. I always thought you were kind of simple, but now seems you have a whole plot line going here. Ooh, this pizza's delicious. Mmm, it totally is. Molly, I hope that we can be the best of friends. Me too, Luke. Mmm, this is really good. So, um, what do you want to do now? Uh, eat more pizza. <laughs> Duh. Molly, I never knew somebody that liked pizza as much as you. Well, if we're going to eat it all so all the students wonder where it goes tomorrow, you better get eating, Luke. Um, yeah, I'm full already. <laughs> I can totally eat more pizza than you. <laughs> hey, want to go to the gym and play some basketball? Sounds like a great idea, except for I just ate all that pizza. I'll probably throw up. Nah, it'll be fun. Come on. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I forgot where the gym was for a minute. <laughs> now that pizza went to my brain. Okay. Let's see if I'm better at basketball than Luke. Um, you probably are. I'm really good at football, though. I'm not really great at football. Whoa! Good shot, Luke! I'm having so much fun right now. Me too. Um, Luke, um, we didn't think about something. What's that, Molly? Where are we gonna sleep? Um, well, ugh, well, I don't feel so good. Why? Oh, no. You ate too much pizza, and then you jumped around playing basketball. Uh-oh. I don't want to throw up on our first date. That would ruin everything, wouldn't it? Um, you better run to the boys' bathroom. <laughs> I'll set up a sleeping area. Good idea, Molly. We definitely have to sleep here till the morning. Wait a minute. No students allowed. Oh! <gasps> Perfect! Yes. In the janitor's room, there's a bunk bed. I'll let Luke choose if he wants top bunk or bottom bunk. Are you feeling better, Luke? A little. I don't know why I ate all that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, Luke, I was wondering, um, are you having fun on our date? I'm having a great time on our date. Yep. Well, I want to show you something. Uh, I'm not looking forward to sleeping on the bleachers. No, no, no. Look what I found in the janitor's room. Bunk beds! Do you want the top bunk or the bottom bunk, Luke? I'll take the bottom. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. This ladder is kind of broken. I can't climb up the ladder. Uh, uh, uh. Here, Molly, I'll take the top bunk. Are you sure, Luke? Well, if I can climb up the ladder, sure. Well, Molly, this was a great first date. I agree, but you know we're probably going to get detention tomorrow for being locked inside the school. But it wasn't our fault. We'll just tell them Sarah did it. Yeah, if they believe me. I'm always getting detention. Plus, we ate all the pizza for school tomorrow. 
Yeah, we might get detention about that. But at least we'll be in detention together. And uh, Molly? Yeah, Luke? Would you like to go to the school dance with me on Friday? Um, uh, uh. It's okay if you don't want to. I would love to! Great. This 24 hours stuck in the school with you has been the best 24 hours of my life. Ditto, Luke. Ditto. Who woke me up so early? Too early! Holy guacamole, Molly! You look like a crib keeper! Oh boy, you should put some moisturizer on your face before you fall asleep. Then you won't look like a zombie when you wake up. Get away from me, you evil undead monster! Quit trying to hit me with the broom! Rude! Girls, try to get along, please. Dad, why am I waking up so early right now? It's a school day. I need my rest. Because we wake up an hour early on Fridays to get our chores done. That way we can enjoy our weekend. What? No. That sounds like a horrible idea. Can't we just hire somebody to do all these chores? We could, but we're not rich like that, so no, we can't. Ah, oh, get a second job, Dad. A third job, a fourth job. Well, Molly, you could get another job. <laughs> You're funny, Mom. Mmm, <laughs> pizza for breakfast. Mmm, delicious. Molly, I thought I told you we're gonna have a healthy breakfast. Pizza's very healthy. There's cheese. There's pepperoni. There's bread. What's not to love about that? Mm. Oh, Molly, did you not get enough sleep? Your face looks well, uh... Yeah, I know. Look like a zombie. No, I didn't get enough sleep because someone woke me up at the crack of dawn. Oh, Molly, <laughs> it was not that early. Yeah, Molly. Now, what chore do you want to do today? How about we have a special kind of Friday? A special kind of Friday? I love special Fridays. What is it? It's called Opposite Day. Opposite Day? What's that? It's where everything we normally do is the opposite. You mean I don't have to do these dishes? Absolutely. I'm on board. Really? Yeah, me too. I don't have to fix anything. I think we could get away with one opposite day a month. Ah, uh, well, I don't like opposite day. <laughs> of course you don't, goody two-shoes. Uh, Molly, let's not name call, and if you'd normally name call, you have to do the opposite, which is say nice things to your sister. What? Opposite day's working against me! <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Go ahead, Molly. Today's opposite day. You decided. Say nice things to your sister. Fine. Daisy, your shirt is very... pink. <laughs> Molly, that's not saying something nice. It's just stating a fact. I like your pigtails. There, is that good enough? Very good, Molly. Now, what would I normally do? Hmm, I'd normally get dressed for school. But since it's opposite day, I'm wearing my pajamas all day and I'm not going to school. Do we, uh, okay the girl's not going to school today? It's opposite day! If we go to school, we can't. Well, they do have a point, Dan. What? I don't get to go do my science project? I hate this opposite day thing. I don't like it at all. Oh, Daisy doesn't like opposite day. Maybe we should stop having opposite day. Absolutely not. Well, Molly, since you never want to do chores. Yeah, that is true. I never do. Today's opposite day, and so you have to do them. What? This, this is backfiring on me big time. Sorry, Molly. Grab a mop. Oh, man. Opposite day it stinks! I don't know why I thought of this! Well, I mean, I didn't have to go to school, so there's that. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, today's opposite day, and I don't pay the bills on opposite day since I normally pay the bills. And the electric company shut our lights off. What? This is terrible! Dad, why are you wearing a lifeguard uniform? Actually, this is just my beach uniform. I usually go to work, but I don't want to go to work. Where'd you get the lifeguard uniform? Um, when I was 18, I was a lifeguard for the summer. <laughs> and it's the only bathing suit I didn't, like, have packed away for the winter. <laughs> Thought I was done going to the beach, but no! Today's opposite day. See ya! What? Things have gone so crazy! Mom, what are you doing? I don't know what to do with myself. I don't have to do the dishes or make any food or, oh my god, I'm gonna go insane! Mom, snap out of it! I don't know what to do on opposite day. 
Hey, hi, 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 I have so much free time. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna mop over you then, Mom. Oh, I have dirt between my teeth. Stop mopping my teeth, please. Sorry, Mom, you're laying right in the way. Now, where is Daisy? Oh, I think I should sit down while I mop. This is a much better idea. If you normally sit down, Molly, you can't sit down. You have to actually stand up. Oh, this seems like a lot of work this opposite day. Why did I think this up? Well, you could go to school if you want opposite day to be over. Nope. Nope, I'm fine with it. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is be responsible and pay the electric bill so the lights can come back on. What? You're being responsible? Oh, this is the strangest day ever. Huh, that's more like it. Now let's see what Daisy's doing. She better be doing the opposite of what she normally does. Daisy, what are you doing? Are you doing homework? I can't help myself. I love doing schoolwork. In the bathtub? I'm hiding from everybody. <sighs> Daisy, today's opposite day. That means follow me. What? I don't want to. You have to. Normally, you're a goody two-shoes. Now you have to be bad. Jump on the bed like me. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, my gosh. You do this with so much fun. But it's totally wrong, and you should never do it. <laughs> now, come over here and open the safe. What? I don't have the code for that. Okay, well, we'll have to find something else to do. Come over here and... Oops, wrong way. How do you not know our house? We've lived here for years. I don't know. I just got kind of confused. Did I not mention that I didn't sleep very good? Okay, come in here. Girls, what are you doing? Hopefully it's the opposite. Oh, I can't even concentrate on this book. Isn't there dishes that need to be washed or something? Molly, we're not supposed to eat ice cream except for after dinner for dessert. Yeah, but right now, mm, this ice cream's good. Wait a minute. This is how you normally are. Not listen, be bad. You don't get to do that, Molly. You have to do the opposite. What? No, I don't. Yes, you do. Do the dishes, Molly. Oh, no way. She has a point, Molly. Do the dishes. Besides, I'm really enjoying taking this time off. Oh, man. I don't want to do the dishes. Quit riding and do the dishes. Hey, today's opposite day and you're normally bossy. So how about you stop being so bossy for a change? No, that's just not going to happen, Molly. It should happen. Bossy. Call the paramedics. Ah! Dad, what, what's wrong? I got so sunburned. Ah! Ew! You look like a lobster. Gross! Oh, just put me in a pot. And cook me and put me out of my misery if I'm a lobster. <laughs> oh, man, Dan, you really got fried at the beach. Don't worry, I'll put you out, Dad. Ouch! Don't touch my skin. You mean like this? Oh! Oh, why did you make it opposite day? I could have been totally happy in my cubicle at work instead of having this horrible sunburn. Here, Dad. This will make it feel better. Here, do you want to put this ice cream on your skin? I can't. You're eating it. Oh, sorry. Mm, this is good ice cream. Uh. Well, I think opposite day should be over. What? No, opposite day is great. No school, you know, all that kind of stuff. Here, Dad, you can have what ice cream is left. <laughs> yeah, but I need to do the dishes. And I need to go to work and pay the bills. I feel so strange. And I need to do my science homework. So you're outnumbered, Molly. Opposite day's over. Not yet, it's not. Boing, boing, boing. I still have two hours till midnight. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Oh, boy. Daisy, I cannot believe it. This game is so creepy. I know, but it, it, it's like creepy because nothing really happens until you type in the wrong answer. And then Amanda the Adventurer gets really mad. She's a monster, you know. She's definitely a monster. Hello, is anybody home? Hey guys, what's up? Oh my gosh, Bookie, have you played this Amanda the Adventurer game before? Um, no, I haven't even heard of it. What? Have you been living under a rock? Uh, no, I just spend a lot of time, like, working out and, like, riding my bike and stuff. 
OMG, look at this, Brookie. Isn't this creepy? Oh, yeah, it totally is. Hey, guys, let's stop playing that and, like, have a sleepover or something. I can't. I can't stop looking at it. I can't! Molly, just, just put your computer away. Okay, fine. Yeah, we can have a sleepover. That that sounds like so much fun. But do you want to play Amanda the Adventurer? Huh? 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 We could. We could play Amanda the Adventurer. Um, it looks too creepy for me. I don't really like scary things. Oh, come on. It's not that creepy. Molly, you just spent ten minutes saying how creepy it is. Pookie doesn't want to play. But we could play Truth or Dare. Ooh, Truth or Dare. I love that. Hey, did you bring all your stuff for the sleepover? Um, yeah, um, but I didn't bring a sleeping bag. Do you have one? Sure do. Okay, Brookie, truth or dare? Um, uh, truth. <laughs> Is it true that you farted at the school pool and, um, Luke smelled it and was like, Ew, Brookie farted. Um, well, uh, remember, you have to tell the truth, Brookie. Oh, you cannot play with truth or dare ever again in your entire life. Yeah, don't lie, Brookie. Just tell the truth. Okay, yeah. I had a bean burrito for lunch, and then I had gym class, and we went in the pool, and I farted, and I didn't think anybody would notice. Well, everybody noticed, because it smelled really bad, and Luke made a big deal about it, and I was super, super embarrassed. <laughs> okay, that's so funny. It really wasn't funny. It was kind of terrible and embarrassing. <laughs> I think farts are funny. I can't help it. <laughs> okay, Molly. Enough about the farting. Do you pick truth or dare? I pick dare. Okay, um, I just heard that uh, you can buy a haunted Amanda the Adventurer doll from Amazon. Say what? Who would want a creepy doll that, that was of Amanda the Adventurer? She's totally nuts and psycho, and I wouldn't want a doll of that. Well, my dare is you should order her off Amazon right now. <gasps> you wouldn't give me that dare. She said she dared you, Molly, and I bet Amazon will have her delivered before we go to bed. Um, I just, I, I, don't, I, 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 don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, don't be such a chicken. You said the game wasn't that scary. Come on, get on your computer and order the haunted Amanda the Adventurer doll. Molly, I'm sure she's not actually haunted. She's just a toy. Yeah, you're you're probably right. I'm not afraid of Amanda the Adventurer. She's just a, a made-up, like, video game character. She's not real. Okay, well, quit stalling then and order her. I already did. <laughs> Whoa! That was the fastest delivery ever! Way to go, Amazon. Wow! It's here already! I can't believe it! Guys, look! The Amanda the Adventurer doll just got here! I know, Molly. We heard the doorbell ring. So what do you guys think? Should, should I open it? Of course you should, Molly. Let's see what she looks like. And if she's haunted. Um, if she's haunted, I'm not staying over for a sleepover. Brookie, it's 11 o'clock at night. You have to stay over now. <laughs> you can't walk home. It would be kind of creepy and scary. What if there's a bear in Brookhaven? Molly, I don't think any bears live here. Well, you're wrong. I saw a bear. I swear it. Uh-huh, sure you did, Molly. Okay, quit being a chicken and stalling. Open the box. Open the box. Open the box. Yeah, Molly, open the box. Come on. It was a part of your dare. Okay, fine. <laughs> She's really lifelike. I don't think she really looks like Amanda the... Whoa! Did she just wave? Yeah, but I didn't see where she came with any batteries. Hmm, let me look, let me, let me look at her back. Uh, guys, I don't, I don't see any battery, like, case or anything, like, where you put the batteries in. Um, well, she keeps waving, so there must be batteries. She's probably haunted, just like I said. No, she's not. She's just a toy. She's not real. Look at her, she just lays here. I mean, she's obviously not gonna come to life or anything. Uh, Molly, I don't know, she's kinda creeping me out. Yeah, me too. You have to make her sleep downstairs, not up here. Okay, fine, you guys are such chickens. Come on, Amanda. Where's Wooly, by the way? Must be I had to order him separate. <laughs> you can sleep over here, like in the corner. Don't be haunted, okay? Cause that's creepy. Okay, good night. 
Good night, toy. Okay, she's still standing there, but is she now? How about now? How about now? Okay, yeah, she's she's not real. These guys are such chickens. I don't know why they're so afraid of her. Did she come to life, Molly? Did she? Uh, no. I just put her in the kitchen and she did absolutely and utterly nothing. You guys are such chickens. Whatever, Molly. I've played Amanda the Adventurer and she's creepy. Well, Brookie, I, I thought you'd never even heard of the game. Well, I didn't, but then I googled it and, um, like, just like... 20 minutes ago before we started playing truth or dare and i saw that they had the haunted amanda the adventure doll so like i literally had to dare you i knew you were gonna pick a dare well then why can't amanda the adventurer toy sleep in this room because it's totally creepy well i guess we should try to get some sleep but guys don't let amanda get you in your sleep <laughs> is she asleep already Ugh. She's so lame at sleepovers. She's always the first one to fall asleep. I know, Molly, but I guess Bookie's just tired. I am too. <sighs> Maybe we could go swimming tomorrow. Actually, that sounds like a great idea. See you in the morning, Daisy. Good night, Molly. Stomach's growling. Oh well, I'm gonna try to go back to sleep and ignore it. Okay, okay, stomach. I'm getting up. Ugh. Sometimes my stomach gets hungry in the middle of the night and I have to go get a snack and it's so annoying because I just wanna like dream about unicorns and stuff. I wanna have to go downstairs and get a snack. Oh, look at Bro Brookie. She's drooling. <laughs> ah, she's also going to catch flies if she doesn't close her mouth. <laughs> ah, maybe I could have some Pop-Tarts or something. Wait a minute. Where's that Amanda the Adventurer toy? I I think I, I left it right there. and it, 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 it's, it's now over there on the counter? Have I gone crazy or is Zapped out m m m m moving? Ah. Someone probably just came down here and moved it to prank me. My sister or Brookie while I was sleeping. They would do that just to get me. They must think I'm a fool. I know that toy isn't really haunted. Yeah, yeah, you're not coming to life. Whatever, you just weave high. Oh, I gotta get in the refrigerator. I'm starving. Oh, do we have any Pop-Tarts or anything? So Ooh, pizza. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Mm, that's delicious. Wait a minute. Wasn't that toy just right there? And, and now she's there? Ugh, that's ridiculous. I, I must be losing my mind right now or I'm just like super tired or something. Hmm. Ooh, some milk to wash that down. That'll be good. <laughs> what, 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 what was that? <laughs> I don't want to turn around because I think he might be right about the Amanda the Adventurer doll being possessed or something. Okay, um, what do I do? I'm frozen. <laughs> Stop it! If you're possessed, you, you, you don't get to live in my house! I saw you moving, you evil, evil girl! And, and you killed Wooly, didn't you? Hi, I'm Amanda. Wanna play? No! I don't wanna play! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I gotta go tell my sister. I've gotta tell Brookie. Oh my god, that was so creepy. Oh my god, oh my god. Guys, wake up, 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 wake up! Molly, what are you screaming about? Holy guacamole, it's the middle of the night. That doll is possessed. That's really Amanda the Adventurer. What? What are you talking about, Molly? I went down to get some pizza and a snack and some milk and, and it kept moving around and laughing and it said, Hi, I'm Amanda. Wanna play? Wait, what? Are you pranking me? Because this is not funny, Molly. No, I'm not. I, I, think we, I think we need to go down and... And I don't know. Uh, throw that toy outside or something. Um, Molly, I think I'm going to stay here and hide under the blankets. Guys! 
guys, I need your help. We can't stay here if that doll is here. It's possessed. Uh, Molly, a tank? Are you serious? Well, it's a Halloween costume, but but she doesn't know that. And you have a fishing pole. Well, um, it's all I could find. <laughs> Daisy, aren't you coming? Daisy! No, I know your pranks and you're up to no good. Daisy, I, I don't want you to be stuck in this house by yourself. Oh, I'm fine. I, I want to go back to sleep. Okay, suit yourself. Come on, Brookie. Molly, I'm kind of afraid. You should be. She's super creepy. Wait a minute. Isn't that exactly where you left her before you went to bed? Yeah, but I swear she was on the counter. Molly, maybe you were just dreaming that. You! Get out of my house right now! Um, Molly, uh, she's an inanimate object. She can't move on her own. She just did! She always did that. She's just a toy. Okay, that's it. She... I'm throwing her outside. <laughs> Seriously, I'm throwing her outside. And I'm locking the door. Out you go! No more haunted Amanda the Adventurer for me. Goodbye and good riddance! Okay, now let's just lock the door. Molly, I'm so tired. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning. Can we go back to sleep? Yeah, me too. Well, good night, Brookie. You mean good morning. Ugh, I just need to get a few more hours of sleep. Well, Daisy slept through everything. Okay, well, good night. Ah! Ah! The, 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 the doll is in my bed! Brookie, wake up! Wake up! Wait, what? Where, Molly? Where? Wait, I don't see her anywhere. She was just, she was just right there. I, I swear it. Molly, I think you're playing too many scary video games. I think you better stop it. But I, 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 I think I might be going crazy. Sparkles? Sparkles, where are you? Sparkles! I can't find my pet unicorn anywhere. Molly, why do you think she ran away? I don't know if she'd run away. I mean, <laughs> we give her all the cupcakes she could ever want to eat. Yeah, and everybody knows that unicorns love cupcakes. Well, maybe she was just going out for a walk and got a little lost. Inside a building? I don't know. Well, if the building had lots of cupcakes in it and she could smell them, she'd head right for that place. Hey, does somebody have a unicorn they're missing? Yeah, where is she? I just saw her go on to this elevator and go to the second floor. Wait, wait for me, Dad! Oh my gosh, he didn't hold the door. He doesn't know how an elevator works. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Come on, Mom. I'm coming. Where's your father? He's probably already on the fifth floor. He's, he's not very patient. Ah! That's Piggy! What are you doing in here, Piggy? Molly, run! It's Piggy! Um... What are you guys hiding for? Um, Piggy's in here, and Piggy has a pet cat or something. Uh, I don't think that that pig is mean. Um, obviously you don't know Piggy then. Piggy is very mean! Yeah, everybody knows that. Yeah, exactly, Mom. Did you see Sparkles anywhere, Molly? Nope, didn't see her anywhere. And it seems like the elevator's stuck on the 10th floor. Oh, no! We're stuck in here with Piggy! This couldn't be any worse. Well, I guess it could be. It could be worse if, um, Granny and Piggy are in here. I'm leaving! Um, you're saying that like that's a bad thing. Bye, Piggy! <laughs> Why is this elevator stuck? Come on! Oh, come on. I want to go find my, my pet unicorn. I can't get out of here! Whoa, what happened to the elevator? I know, it got really creepy all of a sudden. Well, it looks like it let us off at the school floor. Oh man, just my luck. I know Sparkles isn't gonna be on this floor because she doesn't like doing homework. Bah! It's Baldy! Uh-oh, okay, um, it's okay, we can escape. Molly, what's going on? Um, Baldy's and on this floor, and oh, whoa! <laughs> I fell through into the elevator. Whoa, this was crazy. I don't tell me about it. Everybody's pushing and shoving in here, too. It's kind of craziness. Yeah, it's like a big elevator party. This elevator is insane. Whoa, stop pushing. Oh, there's too many people. Okay, dear, stop freaking out. All right, girls. I think 
I think that this elevator is really crazy and it's taking us to like a haunted ho a haunted like hotel or something. Nah, it can't be haunted. Maybe it was just that floor. OMG, where does this lead? Sparkles, where are you? Molly, I don't think Sparkles is down here. What do you suppose is down there, Molly? I don't know, Dad. It's kind of dark and creepy. Ah! What's that giant face? That is terrifying. No, don't get me. Don't get me. Ah! <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Help! Molly, what's going on? Um, there's a terrifying, like, face monster thing chasing everybody. Can it come in here? I don't think it can. Wow, this has been the weirdest day of my life. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm just hiding with you guys. Okay, you guys are gonna go first because I don't I don't want to get eaten this time. What? Uh, I'm thinking just being dramatic, Molly. I mean, this elevator is not that insane, right? Nice try, Mom. You're just trying to convince us of that, but it's totally insane. Okay, yeah, it's totally insane. I just think that Sparkles went for ice cream and we now got ourselves stuck on this elevator that's not even where she is. What? She better be here after all this craziness. <laughs> okay, let's vote who should go first next time. I vote not me. Molly! I vote mom. She's the bravest. Hey, I can be brave. Sometimes, maybe. Okay, yeah, I'm not brave at all. Go ahead, mom. You're first. Oh, girls, it's the SpongeBob floor. Come on. Wow, look at this. Oh, my gosh. SpongeBob's house. I don't see SpongeBob anywhere. Me either, Mom. You can't go in his house, but this is weird. This is insane, actually. An insane elevator. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm kind of like stuck there. <laughs> and these look like giant rolls of toilet paper. Just saying it. SpongeBob. Oh, hi. You look so nice. Hi, SpongeBob. I Whoa, SpongeBob. What happened to your face? Molly, he's not friendly. Get out of there. Um, ah, too late. He killed me. Oh, <laughs> why, SpongeBob? Why? Whoa, did I just get off the elevator? Holy guacamole, holy guacamole. Ah, finally, I'm out of here. Wait a minute. Is my family still stuck on the elevator? Oh, no, I'm going to have to go back in. Ew, look at this creepy clown. It's like you have to ride down his tongue to get into the elevator. Whoa! He swallowed me! Ugh! Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I just died, but I'm back. I'm back! Um, Daisy, could you stop standing on my head, please? It's kind of giving me a headache. Oh, sorry, Mom. I'm just kind of stuck up here. <laughs> There's not a lot of space in this elevator. Come on, Molly, let's go see what this is all about. Um, it looks like we're on a deserted island. Do they have cupcakes here? Why would they have cupcakes on a deserted island? Ay, ay, ay. Sparkles, where are you? Oh my gosh, Sonic crashed here. He's sleeping though. Don't wake him up, Molly, he's evil. Yeah, he is evil. Oh my gosh, Molly, it was so loud you woke him up too. Oh my gosh. No, don't kill my sister. Ah, don't kill me. You already killed Daisy. Molly! Daisy! <laughs> we died. Seriously, my head fell off. Ah, but at least we escaped. Now I'm going to go play at the playground. Forget this weird day ever happened. I'm sure I'm sure Sparkles my unicorn is like seriously just at home eating an ice cream at this point. Molly! I'm right here, Daisy. Why are you yelling like that? Um, because we have to go back in and save mom and dad. What? No, they can, they're, they can, they're fine. Molly, no, you know they need us. They can't make it through this insane elevator by themselves. Um, Daisy, I think we should be worried. Why? What's that doll's name that came to life? He was super evil. Ah, Chucky! Ew! Yeah, Chucky. And over here we have Granny! Um, and over here we have... Jeff the Killer! Uh, I don't know how this elevator get in my, got in my town, but it's creepy. Whoa! Uh, uh. Hey, Molly, what's going on? Dad, what are you doing? Just trying to survive. Uh, it's been super creepy since you guys have been gone. What's going on now? Let me take a look and see. Okay, we're in a barn. Everybody's up this ladder. 
What's going on? I don't see anything bad happening. Ah, it's Piggy! I knew that Piggy was evil. I knew it! I knew it! That Piggy's looking right at me. Look, guys. With its laser eye! It's... Ah, it killed me! No! I didn't know that pigs could climb ladders! Since when can pigs climb ladders? Pigs are... Pigs are fat. They can't climb ladders. Going back in, people. Ugh! I like how you, like, land on your face or whatever. Like, thud! <laughs> Oh, wow. The door is closed. Let's leave it that way, people. Where's my family? I'm right here, Molly. Where's Dad? Where's Daisy? I think they got stuck on the last floor. What? No! We have to get them! I don't know if we can, Molly. This elevator is so insane. I say, if you manage to get out again, don't ever come back. Really? Seriously? Yeah. I'll help. I'll, I'll, I'll try to find your dad and Daisy by myself. Mom, no! Mom, you, you can't! Oh, boy. This is quite the insanity we've gotten ourselves into. Everything's blocked, Molly. I, th I think we're stuck here forever. No, Mom, don't say that. We won't be stuck here forever. Um, maybe this is the right way. No, definitely not. And I think something creepy is probably going to come through here. Something creepy always comes through here. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's best to just stay in the elevator. Because <laughs> seriously, you seem safest in there. I don't see anything creepy on this aisle, except for maybe it's like... It, I feel like we went down into the sewer. Why is it on fire? Ew. Stinks down here! Like doo-doo. <laughs> Mom? Mom? 